हेलो एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ डीएससीजे टेली क्लासेस आम कामनी पठानिया वर्किंग एज अ टीचर एट गवर्नमेंट हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल स्लैब आप टुडे सेशन इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास टेन एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश आज टुडेज टॉपिक इज पोइट्री सो लेट्स बिगिन आर टुडेज सेशन चिल्ड्रन अ स्मॉल वीडियो क्लिप विल बी शोन टू यू you people just watch this video clip enjoy it and make a list of thoughts that come to your mind while watching this video so let's get started children did you enjoy this video i'm sure you must have enjoyed it so what were the thoughts that you encountered while watching this video and how many of you thought of drenching yourself in the rain water yes rain excites us it fills us with immense happiness it takes us to the lanes of memories isn't it so but do you think this is the case with everyone is it that everyone feels happy about the rain let's read today's poem and find out what kind of effect it can cause on different people so let's read the poem the title of the poem that we are going to read today is an evening wet with rain isn't it an interesting title yes an evening wet with rain so let's recite the poem and enjoy it an evening wet with rain an evening wet with rain as i walk through the lane the heart beckons the hands to hold them with love the mind also knows subtle signals of the breeze should i stand on the ground or waft with the wind windows doors awnings of the house are wet cool breezes stir the leaves of the yonder banyan tree the collar of my coat is also wet with drops of rain all around rains silence my feet are cold with water seeping through my shoes my eyes are heavy with sleep or is it fever the ground is very slippery there is no place to stand the mind is exhausted looks for some spot to rest loss of hope has darkened the evening of my life too and clouds gathering in the mind shed tears as they pass the evening of travel my companion is also depressed and takes me along holding me by the arm in childhood i stood alone in my courtyard and waves of air brought the sound of cymbals we regret the days gone by don't return how to call back times past and gone the evening prepares to go to sleep in the lap of the night slowly softly just as the sky's feet touch the ground shadows of trees rest in the dark tank as some passing cloud casts a shadow over hills there is activity in the houses lit with electric bulbs moonlight laughs holding the hem of the moon where is my destination where is the hurry light of the earthen lamp in a wayside modest inn awaits me children i hope you enjoyed reciting this poem now before we go into the details of the poem uh, let's get acquainted to the poet of the poem this poem is written by vedpal 
Deep. You can see the picture of the poet on your screens. Uh, Vedpal Deep is known as the pillar of modern Dogri poetry. So he has done a lot of work in Dogri. Vedpal Deep uh, was born in 1929 and he is an eminent Dogri writer. His publication as uh, Asitayam Banjare Lok was awarded by JNK Academy of Art, Culture and Language. So his work, Asitayam Banjare Lok, it was awarded by JNK Academy of Art, Culture and Languages. He died in 1995. Uh, the poem, An Evening Wet with Rain, is originally written in Dogri by Ved Paul Deep and is later on translated to English by Shivnath. Now let's read the poem, An Evening Wet with Rain, in detail. An Evening Wet with Rain. Stanza 1. An evening wet with rain, as I walk through the lane. The heart beckons, the hands to hold them with love. The mind also knows subtle signals of the breeze. Should I stand on the ground or weft with the wind? Now let's first go through the new words. The word beckon. The word beckon means to call. The word subtle means not loud. Then we have the word waft. The word waft means to move gently through the air. In this stanza, the poet remembers an evening wet with rain. He says as he walks through the streets, his heart asks his hands to hold on the people around him with love. These people may his family members, his beloved or maybe his friends. Not only his heart, even his mind receives such signals from the blowing breeze and then he thinks whether he should keep standing there ignoring the call of his heart and mind or just sway with the message that wind has brought to him. Let's move on to next stanza. Windows, doors, awnings of the house are wet. Cool breezes stir the leaves of the yonder banyan tree. The collar of my coat is also wet with drops of rain. All around rains silence. Now let's go through the new words. Awning. Awning means a sheet of canvas as a shelter against rain or sun. You can see in this picture a red color canvas sheet that is covering the window of the house. That is awning. You can see it is protecting the house from the sunlight. We have some more words. The word stir. The word stir means to move. Then we have the word rains. The word rains means rules. The word yonder at some distance in that direction. In this stanza, the poet says, when he looks upon the houses around, he finds all windows, doors and awning all drenched and soaked with rainwater. At a distance, he observes a bunion tree every leaf of it dripping the rainwater and moving with breeze. Even he and his clothes are wet. <clears throat> the collar of his coat is wet. All around is silence and it is an atmosphere of complete silence and calmness. The poet is also quietly observing his surroundings. He doesn't seem to be excited by the rain. Let's move on to the next stanza. My feet are cold with water seeping through my shoes. My eyes are heavy with sleep or is it fever? The ground is very slippery. There is no place to stand. The mind is exhausted, looks for some spot to rest. Let's go through the new words. The word seeping, the word seeping means oozing out. 
then we have the word exhausted the word exhausted means tired in this stanza the poet says while he is watching all around everything is quiet he feels his feet getting cold because of the rain water seeping through his shoes his eyes feel heavy it may be because he is lacking sleep or maybe he is having fever we can see that the poet is not able to enjoy the rain rather he seems to be depressed and disappointed because of falling rain the surrounding appears to be slippery the poet is unable to find a place safe for him to stand it's not only that he is physically exhausted but even his mind is tired it may be because of the prevailing circumstances of his life he he is completely exhausted depressed and disappointed he looks for a place to rest and relax he wants to put his mind and body to some rest maybe he wants to take a break from all the depression and tiredness now let's move on to the next stanza loss of hope has darkened the evening of my life too and clouds gathering in the mind shed tears as they pass the evening of trouble my companion is also depressed and takes me along holding me by the arm in this particular stanza the poet seems to have lost all hopes he feels depleted and discouraged for he has lost all expectations as he is exhausted and disappointed he is not able to appreciate the magnificence of nature loss of hopes has left him depleted and discouraged he says life has been darkened just like the rain has darkened the evening he feels the evening of his life that is while he is approaching his old age he feels that face of his life has been darkened that face of life he is exhausted with just like the rain has darkened that particular evening outside the evening of his life means his old age outside the clouds gather in the sky causing rain whereas deep inside his mind the clouds of disappointment and loss of hope gather and he feels discouraged he finds the evening only being his companion and it drags him holding his arm now let's move on to next stanza in childhood i stood alone in my courtyard and waves of air brought the sound of cymbals we regret that the days gone by don't return how to call back times past and gone let's first go through the new words the word cymbal the word cymbal means a flat round musical instrument you can see these men holding cymbals in their hand when they strike them there comes a sound so the instrument that these men are holding is called cymbal and it's a musical instrument so in this stanza we find poet being nostalgic about his good days of childhood he remembers how as a child he used to enjoy rain standing all by himself in the courtyard while he used to enjoy rain he used to listen to the sound of cymbals he says the breeze brought to him the musical sound of cymbals in the meantime he feels tragic on the grounds that this song presently has no appeal to engage him he feels dismal for it is outside his ability to control to get back to great bygone eras he cannot bring the days of his childhood back and he is disappointed because of this too 
Now let's move on to the stanza 6. The evening prepares to go to sleep in the lap of night. Slowly, softly, just as the sky's feet touch the ground. Shadows of trees rest in the dark tank as some passing cloud casts a shadow over hills. This stanza says the writer has come to an incredible night. That is, his maturity is brimming with depression, with no craving left. The poet wants to rest in the lap of night. Here night suggests his demise, his death. The way the evening outside will end soon because the night is approaching. In the same way, soon the poet, the writer will meet his end. It is the evening of his life and soon he will be meeting the night of his life. Outside, the sky seems to be touching the earth, touching the ground. Shadows of the trees appears to take rest in the dark because some cloud has cast a shadow over the hills. Let's move on to the next stanza. There is activity in the houses lit with electric bulbs. Moonlight laughs holding the hem of the moon. Where is my destination? Where is the hurry? Light of the earthen lamp in a wayside modest inn awaits me. The poet in the last stanza moves his imagination again to the outer world and says he sees some activity going on in a house that is lit with electric bulbs. He can see moon in the sky, though not very clear because of the clouds. Then he thinks about his own destination. He thinks, where is he hurrying to? He has left himself to the destiny. He says he is being waited in a modest inn that is lit by the earthen lamp. The poet has drawn an atmosphere of silence and solitude throughout the poem. To express what is going around in his mind, the poet seems to be depressed. Perhaps he has lost hope and that has darkened the evening of his life. Children, I hope you enjoyed the poem. Now let's discuss the theme of the poem. The poem, The Evening Wet with Rain, is a magnetic poem in which the poet talks about an evening wet with rain. It is an atmosphere of complete silence and calmness. It seems as if the silence reigns through the poem. The poet sketches numerous images from nature to broaden the effect of silence and loneliness. The poet seems to be depressed, disappointed, perhaps because of despair that has darkened the evening of his life. The poet remembers his childhood when he stood alone in the courtyard, listening to the music of cymbal. He regrets that the days gone by do not return. He is sad about the fact that the days of his childhood cannot be returned. Now let's discuss the literary devices used in this poem. The poet has made use of visual imagery in this poem. Let's study some examples of visual imagery from the poem. Images used in An Evening Wet with Rain Stanza 1 An evening wet with rain as I walk through the lane now, in these particular lines, we are able to imagine somebody walking through the lane while it is raining. So, picture, a picture, a scene comes to our mind. We are able to see things. We are able to imagine things. So, this is a fine example of imagery. Then we have windows, doors, awnings of the house are wet. Collar of my coat is also wet. These lines are taken from stanza 2. They also enable us to see things, enable us to imagine things. So this is again a wonderful example of visual imagery. We have some more examples. 
water seeping through my shoes. Uh, this is from stanza 3. Then shadows of trees, cloud casts a shadow over hills. This is stanza 6. Then this line, uh, house lit with electric bulbs is from stanza 7. All these sentences, they enable us to see what narrator wants us to, uh, wants us to see. So uh, they enable us to imagine things. So we can say these are examples of visual imagery because visual imagery uh, is the use of imagery in such a way that we are able to see things. Visual imagery is the imagery that appeals to our sense of sight. So when we are able to see things, when we are able to imagine things somewhere in our mind, uh, that is known as use of visual imagery. So all these are wonderful examples of visual imagery. With the help of these images, the poet creates a clear picture of an evening wet with rain. And uh, all these images, all these imageries used by the poet in the poem, they leave an everlasting impression in our minds. All these are examples of the use of rich images in the poem. Images help us to connect to the theme of the poem. Uh, children, we have discussed the poem in detail. We have discussed the literary devices used. We discussed the uh, theme of the poem. Now let's check our understanding of the poem. Let's see how much we have understood this poem. And for that, we are going to uh, discuss some questions. So let's start with the first question. The first question is, what are the memories that the poet talks about in the poem? See, the poet talks about memories from his youth. He recalls the moment when he would stand alone in the courtyard listening to the melodious sound of cymbals brought to his ears by the cold breeze waves. He remember those days of his youth and he is really disappointed about the fact that he cannot get those days back. He cannot return to those days. The next question is what kind of atmosphere is created in the poem? Uh, see, the poet uh, in this poem has tried to paint an ambience of a rain wet evening. The quiet, humid evening produces a dull and depressing atmosphere. It is an atmosphere of complete silence. It seems as if the silence reigns throughout the poem. The poet seems to be depressed, perhaps Loss of hope has darkened the evening of his life. Now the next question, what makes the poet tired? See, the poet seems exhausted not only physically, even mentally, he seems to be exhausted and tired. Why is it so? The continuous sleepless nights have made his eyes heavy. He feels feverish and can't find any place to rest. Loss of hope tires the poet. It is hope that will keep one going in one's life. Of course, a depressed person feels drained and tired. It is the loss of hope that has exhausted the poet. The next question is, what has darkened the evening of the poet's life? Hope is the principle which guides life. Life is based on hope. It leads us in the direction we should follow. If there is no hope, then life becomes sluggish and dark. Poet's life is also hopeless and that's what has darkened the evening of the poet's life. The poet has left all hopes. He has no expectation from his life. He had left his life at the sake of destiny. So we can say, that as poet has become hopeless, so the evening of his life has darkened. Our next question is, discuss the poet's regret in the poem. See, the poet here in this uh, poem is nostalgic and reminiscent about his good and old 
days. He remembers the days of his childhood when he used to enjoy rain all alone standing in the courtyard. At that time, his life was filled with joy and happiness. But in contrast to that, the present life of poets, uh, it's full of sorrow and despair. The poet often feels bad that how is it that he cannot go back to those old days. He, uh, he finds himself unable to uh, bring those days back. So he regrets about that. Now let's discuss a question based on comprehension. Uh, read the extract below and answer the following question. So first let's read this extract. In childhood I stood alone in my courtyard and waves of air brought the sound of symbols. We regret that the days gone by don't return. How to call back times past and gone. Now some questions will be asked on the basis of your reading of this stanza and you have to answer those questions keeping this stanza in your mind. So let's see the questions. The first question is name the poem and the poet. Yes, we all know that this stanza has been taken from the poem An Evening Wet With Rain and the poet is Ved Paul Deep. Uh, what does poet regret? The poet regrets uh, the fact that he cannot bring his childhood days back, neither he can go to those days to enjoy those days. What did poet enjoy as a child? The poet enjoyed drenching himself in rain, listening to the sound of symbols. Uh, discuss poet's uh, mood in this stanza. Uh, the poet is depressed and disappointed. He is not happy. Rather, he is little nostalgic and reminiscent about his old days. He remembers his old days and feels nostalgic about them. Explain the literary device used here in this uh, stanza. So in this stanza, the poet has made use of visual imagery. Let's move on. Now your textbook suggests some more poems for you to read uh, and enjoy. So these are some poems. Uh, Drill of Blood and Sunrise by Vedrahi. Then uh, one more poem is there, Wrinkles by Arvind. And uh, the last poem that your textbook suggests for you people to read is Birds of Memories. And it is written by Abhi Shah. So children, please uh, read these uh, poems. These poems are available there on net. Uh, find these poems uh, there on net and just go through them, read them. Uh, they will definitely provide you a lot of enjoyment. So enjoy yourself reading these poems. Children, I hope you enjoyed today's session. Till we meet next, I take your leave. God bless you all. Thank you.